I'm Dr. Katrin Schreiter, I'm a lecturer in European Studies um, here at the Department of European and International Studies and today I will give you a little bit of an overview of the two BA courses that we offer in our department which are the BA in European Studies and the BA in European Politics. But first of course we want to give you a little bit of background of our institution so that you know um, who you're dealing with. King's has um, the pleasure of being among the top 25 universities in the world according to the world rankings and is the fourth oldest university in the country. So we have a long tradition, we are very aware of our tradition um, and we keep it alive through a host of academic but also extracurricular activities. So we um, are a research university which is reflected in our research earnings. We are quite a big institution, more than 27,000 students and we are quite international in our profile. Students come from 150 different countries. We have a large um, yeah, that's again a sign of a, a research university. We have quite a large um, part of our student body studying at the postgraduate level, both taught and research. This kind of an academic instruction is delivered by a large number of staff, so we have a pretty good staff-student ratio so that uh, we as staff can provide um, the time and the guidance necessary for all of our students to succeed in their program. I mentioned before we are a research university, part of the Russell Group, um, and this means that um, we put a lot of emphasis into you know, being up there with cutting edge research. Um, we've been in the last research excellence framework named, um, or it's been found that we um, have a large number of world-leading researchers among our staff and the outputs that they produce um, are actually up there. Why does that matter to you? Why does, would that information you know, help you make your decision about whether or not to apply to King's? Well, um, we bring this expertise into the classroom. So we are research-led. We pride ourselves also in having this research power being acknowledged. We are first in the UK for that, as the REF in 2014 established. So let's turn our attention to the actual degrees that we offer at the BA level. I would like to start with the BA in European Politics. It's a three-year program and it is designed for students who uh, would like to gain a deeper knowledge of Europe as a region. So here we really focus on the politics of Europe and we understand Europe not only to be the EU, but Europe also as a geographic region. So we also really look at the relationship between the EU and other countries um, in Europe that are not formal part of that. What do you do? Well, you study Europe through uh, an interaction between domestic European and international dynamics, so quite an inclusive way of uh, approaching it. You will not only study politics but also history. We offer courses on selected European countries and what that will enable students to do is to step outside the national perspective and use comparative method, compare countries and their interaction with Europe. What we also try to, um, to offer, because of course, if you are studying foreign countries, right, you um, gain extra knowledge if you also understand uh, their languages. So um, you do uh, have the opportunity to study a language um, as part of your degree. It is not required, but if you feel so inclined, you can do that. Um, in all of our courses, except for some offers in um, French politics and history, there is no language requirement. So if you don't bring a language yet, there is no problem. You can take all the classes that are offered. So what 
kinds of things do we study in the BA of European politics? Uh, well, of course, the question that's you know, burning under everybody's nails is the European Union after Brexit. What does the exit of the UK from the European Union actually mean for the future of Europe? When we think about the current disillusion with politics among the population, the rise of populism and popular parties, will we find uh, new ways, or are we seeing in, in a moment where new ways are developing in which people engage in politics? What does that mean for the parties? Are they still relevant today? What is going to be the future of economic and um, financial politics in Europe? We've seen for the last 10 years the European Union, the Eurozone, really being marked by the financial crisis, right? So um, in the next few years, where are we headed in that regard? And what does all of that uh, mean if, if we think about Europe being uh, faced with so many challenges? What does that mean for uh, the least represented? One part of this degree that makes it quite special is that you have the choice of going abroad for one semester in your second year of studies. We have created partnerships with these seven universities in Europe, Asia and North America. So we have Oslo, Copenhagen, Maastricht, Louise is in Rome, a university in Rome, and then Sciences Po in France, in Paris, uh, the National University in Singapore, and then Chapel Hill in North Carolina. These are universities and partner programs that we're working with that offer courses being taught in English. So you don't need to learn the language of the country where you're going. So program structure, as you will see in bold, we've always marked the requirements. These are the courses that everybody has to take. In the first year, these are two year long courses. One is about the, the history, the politics, the culture and the economics <coughs> of Europe and then an introduction to the study of politics. So, you know, giving you some kind of politics skills and tools to work with, to build a solid basis on which then to um, explore further in year uh, two and three, the European Union and specific countries for your comparative work. So we listed just some, some typical modules to give you an idea. Of course, these are always subject to availability um, and, and, and could change. However, this is just giving you an idea. As you can see, I said before, I would talk about some of the countries that we offer. We have an expertise in Spain, in France, in Germany, but we also offer um, uh, our expertise on Britain, on Italy, on Central Eastern Europe, and ever so more on Russia. To move to the BA in European Studies, this degree is slightly different because it is a four-year degree. What it means is that you will have one more year to develop your expertise. So here we have a, a specialization going on um, where you can focus on either Germany, France or Spain. And um, this is not just politics but also includes the study of the culture, the um, history of that specific country. Why take the BA in European study, uh, uh, Studies at King's? It's quite a distinct degree because it involves so many different disciplines. So we have, of course, on the one side, the study of Europe, of European integration, um, governance and its politics, but then the other 50% of the degree really focus in on the culture, the history of one of those three specific countries. So applicants choose which country they want to study and then um, you know, focus equally on both the politics and uh, the country included, integrated in that is intensive language study. By the time students leave here, they are fluent in the language. You have the choice of developing kind of an expertise, uh, customize your degree if you so want. On top of the academics, what is very nice in our department is uh, the cooperation between the staff and the students, which comes to the fore mostly in the kind of events that we put on that do have mostly an 
academic footing, but are also quite a lot of fun um, and a way to gather, to exchange, to discuss politics and to really create a community so that the teaching continues outside of the classroom in a very different kind of horizontal way, right? Then uh, we go have panel discussions, we have, for example, our European Week, which is um, organized by our students. It's our flagship event, full of um, panels every night and high-level speakers invited to share their expertise with us on, on current topics challenging Europe at the time, be it cultural politics, migration, foreign affairs, so a broad spectrum and students and staff come together um, and you know that, that builds a community beyond the classroom. So here the program structure is a little bit different because of the integrated year abroad. Again, in bold, the requirements and then um, uh, the courses underneath are um, the, the electives. These are just, just some examples. The list is much longer, your choices are more. Uh, but what you can see is that uh, in the final year, which was actually also, is also the case for the politics, European politics degree, there are no requirements. So the final year you can really develop your specialization um, and your own profile if you so want. The first slide were the politics classes and courses and now we also have of course modules that are specific to each of the countries. And here you can see now this is the French pathway, here the, the language requirements and also some of the cultural classes that are on offer. Year one, there's still a lot of guidance, but afterwards uh, you have more and more freedom to choose your own modules. The year abroad, our partner there in, in France is Sciences Po in Paris. So students go and live and study for a year in the French capital, which is really exciting. Uh, they study in, in French, uh, so full immersion, and they come back so perfectly comfortable speaking, reading, writing in French and um, it's just a joy to see when they come back to us. The German pathway, similar structure and we have our partner university there in Berlin, uh, so German capital, the Humboldt University and what is great about the year abroad is that our partner universities, of course, don't offer exactly the same thing and don't have exactly the same speci uh, specialization expertise as we do. So there is a little bit of an opportunity to branch out. So for example, with the Humboldt University, our partner institution there, or partner department, is uh, the Institut für Sozialwissenschaften. They do political sociology. So it's still talking about the politics of Europe, but from a more sociological perspective, which then rounds out nicely our offerings that we have here, for example. So Spanish pathway, partner university there is uh, Complutense in Madrid. And again, very similar structure, first year, a lot of guidance. And then as you go through the years, more and more um, choices for you to make. We think it's important to give you a little bit of guidance during the first year because everything is new um, and we want you to have the opportunity to experience and get in contact uh, with as many um, you know, of the different fields and approaches to Europe that we offer. And then in year two and three you can, you know, based on having experienced a little bit of everything, you can then make the decision on how you want to um, develop your, your profile, how do you want to develop your studies. To round up the talk, we are one university that has a lot of expertise in politics and international relations, so uh, you are in safe hands here, and we have a lot of research power, cutting edge, research-led teaching, so this comes into the classroom and forms your studies, which is of course great advantage and benefit to have. And of all of these rankings that I showed you today, the most important for us is the last one, and that is the NSS ranking, that's the National Student Survey. This is an exit survey that our finalists fill out before they leave the program. And in 2016, they um, indicated that more than 90% of them were, you know, all 
satisfied with the degree, with the experience um, in our department. So this is a survey that's specific to the department, the uh, staff in the department, the teaching in the department. So for us, that is the most important ranking of them all because that is what we want to see. We want um, to really make sure that all the students have a great experience here, learn what they need in order to move on in life. And just to give you a little bit of an example of where our students go after they graduate from our program, we have consulting, finance, people going into journalism, but also some go on um, to work for multinational companies and make their language competences and their cultural knowledge of other markets, of other countries in Europe, actually work to the benefit of their new employer. So um, then, of course, study of politics, uh, a lot of our students go onto the civil service fast track or have graduate jobs in parliament and government. So this is quite exciting then, of course, a lot of uh, the European institutions um, employ our students as well. Others choose to go on to further studies, postgraduate studies. There our students have gone to, you know, the list of, of best universities from Oxford um, to the United States, Ivy League um, and amazing universities like Sciences Po on the continent, um, you know, you name it, uh, our, our students have been able to, to um, get admitted into those kinds of programs. Just to leave you with one last impression, um, why to choose European studies or European politics over maybe a more traditional politics degree? Well, and that is the value of expertise, the value of expertise in one specific area, one specific region, the knowledge of a language, of a culture, that is kind of this added value to your general knowledge of political analysis or foreign relations, that you really understand the people who are in other countries making decisions, making politics, that you also understand the pressures that foreign policy uh, you know, decision makers um, are under in their domestic context. So that really gives you a fuller appreciation of um, how one can understand politics and then put that to use in a future career. So we count ourselves under um, the area studies um, here and you can see that this is basically something that is very much in demand by uh, government institutions when they're looking for future employees. So with that, I uh, end my talk and I'll just leave my email address up there for you. I am the admissions tutor in our department, so if you have any questions, further questions for, uh, for us, please don't hesitate to send me an email. I'm happy um, to respond.